we're not quite sure what to call this video it's 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 uh, budget builder how not to damp proof and um, the results of what happens when damp proofing goes wrong for all the wrong reasons um, what this is it's a hallway floor that's been put down to replace what I think was probably an original Edwardian um, hallway as you can see there's carpet in here now and um, previous owner has put in as you can see a a lime or some sort of a concrete floor uh, and you can just see down there there is a um, a bit of um, plastic sheeting standing out and quite a deep hole that I've excavated down the side now the reason we've excavated the hole is because everything was rotting here we've taken the skirting boards off and um, the skirting boards were completely rotten uh, you can see there's a, a wooden plug there and you can see the remains of the rotten skirting boards just lying there now very little left of anything so it's awfully wet down here now it's awfully wet and uh, Wally Dampman has done his absolute utmost to make an even bigger mess of it because Wally Dampman has come in and he's drilled all sorts of holes in it look we've got injection holes uh, and then we've got this this very suspicious band of cement and guess what folks uh, if we home in on it there you go you've got yet another of these lovely stupid electro osmotic damp proof courses um, and what's it doing if you look at this it's doing exactly what you'll see on our website uh, the research that, that's been done they attract salts and you've got a lovely salt band here of concentrated salts uh, which are there because of a buried electro osmotic damp proof course um, and that is doing exactly the opposite to what it's meant to be doing they don't work they're a complete con uh, what are we going to do about all this well the floor is sealing moisture so we've got a, a floor surface here with, with lino tiles on it that is sealing moisture nothing can get out everything's all the moisture that's coming in through the um, rubble under the floor is being pushed sideways into the wall and you can see that the walls are actually quite wet there's dampness there there's damp all around here it's just generally horrible so and it goes right up um, if you look at this wall here above two supposed damp proof courses the walls quite sopping wet so the damp proof courses don't do a damn thing um, what we're going to do is take the floor out we're going to put in a breathable limecrete floor uh, and we're going to put a nice breathable surface on it and it won't trap any moisture it'll be it'll dry out uh, just exposing these walls um, these have dried out here uh, even just during the process of the day and they're actually looking quite a lot drier now than they were so you know I don't think the problem's very difficult to solve we'll just put a nice breathable floor down um, and then the skirtings can go back and they can be set off the wall so that they don't touch the wall and they'll be nice and dry so dead easy to solve the problem but just goes to show Wally Dampman injecting um, using these stupid damp proof courses, osmotic damp proof courses, they don't work and look at the mess that it's caused rotted timber, wet walls, you name it easy to solve, so um, there you go, there's another little lesson for the day